I think anger is undoubtedly in, um, exacerbated by alcohol and drug use and, and um, the way we communicate, you know, being hungover, being tired, the way we interact with people when we need money to support our, our, our drug habits. Obviously we manipulate people, we abuse relationships to get what we need to be able to get our alcohol and drug use and, and it takes on a life its own in terms of a, a dependency and I think one of the, the challenges is to address the dependency but then to look at the entrenched behaviour which has occurred from the lifestyle that, that goes with that. You see there are a lot of struggles for people in life, you know, having to pay pay your rent, uh, having to pay bills, um, having to get your food each week. Um, and in amongst that you have, you know, events like a family member passing away or someone being in an accident and those types of things. And when they've happened to us in the past, we've often turned to drugs or alcohol to sort of cope with that. And we're trying to teach people that they don't have to do that. And it's helping them to develop supports in the wider community. And, some, uh, and for a lot of them, it'll be their families. Certainly the um, key parts of a therapeutic community, it's not about talking about change, it's about demonstrating the change that you've made. You know, if you're saying that you've changed the way you interact with people, you're saying that you don't use alcohol and drugs anymore. Well, prove it, show it. And that's what the program's about, you know. Recovery means um, feeling emotionally stable, um, being able to, being spiritually okay with yourself, um, mentally okay. It's, it's personal growth. It's moving forward instead of backwards. Um, it's feeling like you're getting on with life. It's feeling like you can be in relationship with people. Um, being well.